Maybe it's maybe six. Good morning, cadets, and welcome back to our Gondor post finale series. We're already in the battle, and we have a really good spot on top of the hill. And our reinforcements are coming behind us and on the side of us. And okay, you already I thought for a second they were still out of all those reinforcements. So I'm not expecting my main army to be engaged by the dwarves. And by the looks of it, they're turning back. SP2 and we're gonna have to use our cavalry a lot in this fight though and that's what I'm thinking uh, other than that I think we should be okay even if all our reinforcements die I think we're okay I don't think that uh, last army that's like a quarter of a banner, it's gonna, they're gonna do something. They're grouping, which is okay and not okay. I would say okay in the terms that who's engaging on some spearman that they won't come from behind, you know, they won't do a counter surround and stuff like that. On the other hand, they might get a good position over here. Hmm. This is the uh, one the army from the city. Should be okay. And hopefully this time all our reinforcing armies are engaging. As in the previous battle, we had one army that was just sitting around. And I don't know why. Which reinforcing army are you over there? Not you, not you. You're the one. Oh, these guys, for sure, they are gunners. <clears throat> yes, they'll be surrounded by all the, all the dwarves in the world. In this battlefield. They're the most advanced. Cool. No. Oh. We already have routing units. Cool! Well, like I said, this guy is already a gunner. For sure. 1%, they lost. We lost 1%. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. They do have... They do have some militia troops. And some good troops. I have to take this too. Speed 1. They lost 2%, so for us, I would say we're a bit in advantage. Dragon Slayers, they're gonna be intercepted by archers. I know that the reinforcing army are meat for the grinder, but try not to charge with archers first come on and they literally went into the toughest troops that the dwarves have dragon slayers and sons of the fallen they these guys will wreck everybody here just these two guys hmm. all right do I need to get my cavalry involved? Not yet. Maybe speed two? No. Who is just sitting around you again? What are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna put you defensive. Maybe you'll move around. Maybe something like this. I need you to move. Like, seriously. 7%. Okay, we're still leading, but, 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 we have dwarves incoming. But these are the guys from the city. Maybe you can do something? Uh, 
I don't know where I'm, where are you, where are you planning to move, but Okay, I'm gonna have come on catch them, catch them in their tracks, stop them in their tracks. Those guys stopped for a second and Yeah, we're gonna have to engage. Cool. Luckily they're not many. This is speed one and my game is dying. Hopefully we can take care of these guys really quick. They are let's say a bit surrounded in a way. Oh. The battle is very much yeah. in our favor. We're gonna get Victory a bit casualties on our main army. Not that it was my intention, but it's all good. Let's engage with our cavalry. Yeah, we're still doing relatively fine. We still have one army that is just not really engaging. These guys over here. Let's not name them. Nalak. So, yeah. 19%. 11% already for my troops. Again, we're losing. I think we have more casualties than them. This I doubt you're gonna break. The enemy general lies cool. That's one general down. Okay, that will tip the scales, you know, my balance more. And my furniture again is making noises. Fiddle sticks. Okay, fighting to the death. Whatever. Okay, they're done for. We didn't lose any cavalry. That's good. Those guys are about to get done. What's going on here? Uh, what are the dwarves doing here? They organize themselves. Watching this side? Okay, if that... If that's what you're happy with, I won't judge. I mean, those guys are gone. I have routing troops. Uh, mm, these guys will get in more faster there. Despite the fact that we have cavalry. Right. Uh, still fighting. Okay. I don't think I need to bother to reorganize at this moment. This is a huge battle. Okay. Uh, I don't really need to charge over there. Halberds. King's warriors. What do you have here? King's Axis. Not really a full side charge. But let's come through here. And then maybe have you over there. And we some cavalry over here. And those guys are running. How are we doing on losses? 17% against 34. We need more generals from them to die. Only half the enemy force and I believe, uh, yeah, they still have one proper general. Not just a captain. 
Hmm? You're reorganizing a bit. There goes more of my units. Uh, I kind of need to get you out of there. You're not really in a really brilliant position. Okay, those guys are pursuing. What's over there? Are those King Shield fighting cavalry? <sighs> no, no, no. They're gonna charge through here. I believe we kind of lost the same amount of troops in numbers despite the fact that's 41% for them against 21 and I haven't even checked on the other battles how many we recovered back forgot to do that Albert's okay, we need to get out of here. I don't have any Albert's come on, are you full of anti cav? <sighs> King's Warriors, perfect. Okay. We have a target. Although we need to do this really quick. Come on guys. He's gonna get in the way. Hopefully that doesn't screw the charging power for my cavalry. That's it. Only two died. I think that I think that King's axe messed up with the charge. Okay, let's just chase them. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. 50% what's here those are our guys only half Get them the force remains we need to be careful of these guys come on what are you doing cavalry okay you got them for a moment i thought they were going doing a parallel move just move along the enemy troops. <coughs> Come on. It was P2. Too many troops. Can I... I can't... Oh uh, no, keep, keep chasing. Even though they're not a lot left, let's just make sure they're not returning and messing up with the pathfinding for our own cavalry or enemy or our reinforcements, not enemy reinforcements. Uh, we have more guys routing there. Are you guys you're not exactly routing? But you are. Okay, this whole flank is gone. We need to chase. We have one, two, three guys that are running four. But you're dangerously close to those guys. Get as many as possible. Okay, get go 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 get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, there goes the second one. Was that? Will Still be the out. captain. This is not the proper general. But everyone here is routing from them. Which is good. Alright, go after them. And now we have some cavalry from the reinforcements chasing as well. You're routing also. Routing. You stop. Why are you so spread? Well, luckily, 
they're retreating as well. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. How many are escaping here? Uh, twelve. The enemy general abandons his men. Really? My ally should be able to take care of those guys. Not a lot of dwarves are running from here, but still. Twelve. You never know. Our men have captured the enemy general. Perfect. Guard him well I think... and make it so he can see us definitely. Did they have the a proper general? No, they didn't have a proper general. I thought they had. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay. But it's over. Okay, how many are trying to escape here? Uh, okay, we go after those guys. Those guys managed to escape. Uh, there's still a lot of dwarves on the battlefield. These guys are not running. These guys are still not running yet. But hopefully, we'll be able to take care of a lot of the dwarves our ally lies dead slain oh. by the enemy we must help his men avenge him i was curious if that that will happen and he did don't tell me that guy is gonna get away cool he didn't let's get these guys How many are escaping here? Our Six, four. It's time to press the attack. Uh, it's not a lot of enemy troops that are escaping actually. And the most draw dwarves that are still fighting, they're still around here. They're still fighting. Yeah. Which we should be able to catch them. Okay, come on, eighty-eight. Get those guys. The battle is very much in our favor. Okay, got him. Perfect. You got him. There are four guys. I'm okay with that. This should be a full stack wipe on all dwarves. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Cool. And oh, there's a lot of guys trying to get out of here. Three there, okay. Let's try to get them as much as possible. These guys fighting to the death. I think the largest is this one and i'm not gonna catch them really i might not be able to catch them no i'm not catching them mm. okay go go after those guys so there's just one guy that has most of these troops that got away but he'll be gone at the end of the battle what's left because I see people running that didn't get the message yet. Okay, maybe we can get them. They might escape. Hey, seriously, who's left? Did the message to continue battle popped up and they clicked really fast by any chance? Or what's going on? The enemy army flees no. the field. Okay. Pursue and run them down. Last one, and they're gonna get away. Forty-two. By the cool. We have won here today. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, gone, 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 gone. How much we lost? They lost. 
3,500. That's quite a bit. 2,500. Just gonna do a try quick math. 2,500. This guy is 3,500. Right, 4,000 as well. So we almost had the same amount of casualties. Again, only like 500 less. Cool. So this was this battle. Let's continue on to the next one. Okay, with the, uh, those battles over, over there. Yeah, the dwarves came with the smaller stack as well, but there was no point to show it. It was really quick and we lost like maybe 1%. Not even that. But here we are for the battle for Tirith Anduin. From the city, it's not much that is coming. So it's basically 10,000 troops against 2,600 if we include this guy as well. Let's say we include him into this army. So it's uh, two generals. Okay. Uh, the usual. I also have two generals because I think I was planning for him to go further, you know, like Lim here or Karas Garadhon. And, uh, and I, I actually moved him here. Hopefully, the AI doesn't kill the my general. I am tempted to not call this army into the battle and have only. You know how be only five thousand troops come as reinforcements, but you know what? If he dies, so be it. It's not that we cannot train manually generals, so I'm gonna leave it like that, and hopefully this goes well. No surprises. We do have two generals. We have two generals. Let's see who cracks first. All right. In terms of uh, battlefield, we have again a really good position. Although I'm not really happy that we have this forest in front of us. Mm. They might get a bit more advantage on their part. On the other hand, the other general that we had is coming from behind not sure if I'm gonna leave him on defensive is if he's just gonna stay behind us but hopefully we can do something like this you know I want the other armies to engage first then yeah maybe we can leave this army as well to engage so come on Speed 6, as much as possible. Are they, are is everybody organizing on me? Them as well. Almost. Cool. But please don't let this guy charge head first. He does have rangers as well. Terra Knights and he has a good army. Ah, I believe. Oh, and it also has Knights of the Silver Swan. Yes, this is actually one of the armies that I recruited from Tarnost. Okay, this is gonna be a good heal advantage for us. 1% already dead from their side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take that. That was a ballsy move. You did a bit of damage. Well, actually, that's one general over there. I would be surprised if I'll be able to win uh, this fight only with these two guys as reinforcements. It is possible. So we have the heal advantage. And... Yes, so there are sons of the fallen. You better get out with those cavalry, man. 
What is the uh, is the AI? The enemy general lies dead. What? Did you just kill the? <laughs> okay. Lies dead, slain by the enemy. Uh, well, we good job. Good job for killing the that guy. Okay. I was not expecting that. Although we already lost one captain. And we didn't do that much demon damage. I don't like this, but you know how to go engage. We have some good troops over there. Please don't die. Iron Guard, who's charging head first? Some Rangers over there, some cavalry. <laughs> Not my Knights of Silver Swan, come on. Although, could charge here, if it does it with the Silver Swan, might do a lot of damage. Oh, it's already engaging there. Cut all my cavalry out of, out of position. <sighs> Great. You know, as long as he doesn't kill my general, I think I'm okay. Whatever. We're at this point where we can make troops left, right, and center. So it's just a matter of time. Can you stop and shoot with them, please? Oh, fine, a lot. <sighs> Why are you charging with the Rangers? Never mind. <laughs> they do have two generals, proper generals, in the main army. If we start... Ah, oh, if only this forest wasn't in front of us. Uh, yeah, I have all reinforce, uh, reinforcements are starting to route. That's not good. Do I have good targets for my cavalry? Let's take one to play. Are both the generals here, or is just one that is spread 35? I think it might be just one. Okay, I don't want to charge in there. Oh, but we have a lot of routing on our side. If there's ever a time to do some cavalry charges, I think this is it. Okay, this might be... Okay, that was a good charge. They turn that way for a second. Don't know why. If we continue like this, we will smash These warriors. The Are you retreating? Really? Mm, damn it. Let's try to break this fight over here or do as much damage as possible. It was worse, Halberds. Now I noticed we did damage, but the battle is very get out much of there. Favor. Fast. Victory will be ours. Hmm. What was I thinking? Apparently, nothing. Oh, that is everything broke here? That's not good.
That's not good. If everybody broke over there. Yeah, there was the army from the captain that died. Although, <gasps> Talonite. Okay, engaging one of the generals. They will stand and fight. That's from the. the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. They're turning around for another pass. Okay. Let's see how much damage we can do before. Need to retreat. Just don't die, please. Sons of the Fallen doing guard. They should have troubles with the, the Talonites. That wasn't a good charge, actually. Get out of there. We were blocked by these guys here. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, they lost, he lost a lot of guys in his uh, bodyguard unit. The yeah, Talonites, they're gonna they do quite some men. things. Oh, who's retreating here? I'm better yet, how many? Okay, it's just one guy, cool. We don't really care about him. King's Axe. Problem is, our troops uh, from the reinforcements are spread also. We have a lot of guys over here. I need to break. I'll do a charge here and then. Okay, retreat and chase those guys. Maybe these guys will break soon. We need to free some of our reinforcements to be able to fight properly. How many? Okay, Talonites are still fighting really good. They didn't lose. They didn't lose a lot of guys. Perfect. Mm, you're surrounded, there's no point. Let's... Is anyone? No. I thought there was somebody over here... ...routing, but no. Okay, we, sh we should be good. Even if uh, our enforcing army routes. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Okay, that hurt them. I suppose the guys that are trying to run are from the troops from the city. How many Terranites? Uh, I lost 10 guys over there. Actually. Let's see if we can do a charge here. What damage we can do. Not a lot. Okay, that wasn't a good charge, unfortunately. Good job. Good job, Talonites. That's the main general. Perfect. This should tip the scales in our balance. Again. Our guy is still alive. Uh, this troop is gone. This one is almost gone as well. So it's basically him. But are you gonna route? Please, please route. Perfect. Okay, and now it's mopping operation, in, our favor. in my the opinion. That takes care of that. Okay. Uh, go after them. How many are there here? 
44, oh, quite a bit. Right, and still, uh, the other general is still alive, actually. If we and continue I, like this, we will I see the trees enemy. of green and not a door in sight. <sighs> Freaking forest. Okay, we should be able to stop firing. Don't want to take friendly fire, really. We should be able to catch the troops over here. You go over there, you go after them, and that should settle these guys. Is the other general here? How many Talonites? Uh, we almost lost close to half. Oh. Finally! There it goes, the second general. Our guy is still alive and there's somebody around here. Are you chasing or just reorganizing? Maybe we can see better like this. See... I think those are the only ones over there. Beats me. Why are we not chasing? Right, but this should be it. It's just these guys over here, which... They're gonna last uh, quite a bit. Sons of the Fallen, they're not gonna be treated that fast. Okay, but maybe I can do a speed 6. Okay, those guys are caught. We have here and here. I think these are the last dwarves. Oh, there are four guys here. Okay. Ah. And there goes did it and win. Oh, only one escaped? Really? But we lost more than them. See, it's 2000. Yeah, we lost more. 3000. 3200. Actually, it's. 3,700, 800, evenly. Oh, not bad, dwarves, not bad. But this guy is alive. Perfect. I'm happy about it. We can carry on with him in other fights with, if we need be. But for now, let's carry on. And I think it's just the fight for Mithlan left. Unless the dwarves bring more troops out of the blue. Cool. See you in just a bit. Okay, unfortunately, the elves, they're not gonna defend. Too bad. Well, if they're not gonna defend, I'm not gonna bother with them after they become rebels. And... Yep, High Lord is dead. Did it, Anduin. Uh, okay, we have a wedding, but unfortunately, they're not that good. Okay, did it, Anduin. This one here, everything cleared. Over Tart, we just have him. Nice to meet you, Elves and Mithland. Cool. Of Mithrand, alright. I'm gonna do a quick save. And this is it, guys. What I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna settle all the cities around here. This guy, I'll just probably, I, I'll just console command, I'll move him in one. 
the territories over here from them i'm not gonna bother to be honest like let's let's say it's an act of mercy so yeah i'll move this guy over there i'll arrange everything cities do mix a match with the troops i'm not gonna do any movements because we just accomplished our objectives kingdom the lost kingdom of honor and maybe a bit more than that especially in this part is back under Tunadine control right where was the yep Tunadine control so we restored the kingdom lost kingdom of honor we merged it with the kingdom of gondor so we basically did the reunited kingdom perfect i'll see you in just a bit and we'll do a toggle fog of war and see what's the situation in the rest of the world and we'll see where we go afterwards so see you in a couple of seconds seconds guys and all right we're gonna start with the settlements i'm gonna show you how the state of them how they are this moment because it's turn 500 so forlorn doing good Mithland, everything is arranged demolished what we can't use or i don't want to have most of them under towers doing good most as I mentioned in the previous videos as well, on the western part we're still rebuilding. But other than that, a lot of settlements also are already to the full. Yeah, Gob Drain doing good. What's left? All food, Baldwin, Metrate, Anuland, already full, large cities. Athelin, Heorot, Tarbad. Yeah, most of them you already know. This I can leave on normal tax, but if I can put on high tax, it's 0% growth, and I'm good with it. This will uh, catch up the culture on Oslo, so it's not gonna drop less than 95. But yeah. What uh, I like that this city can be upgraded again. So we're gonna have one city at least in this part that it's our type of culture. In the Gondor style, not the Northern Donadine. This is already a large city. Tirthain doing good. Austin Adil, there what? And most of these you already know in the previous reports of our settlements i haven't moved this guy probably he's gonna move back so we're all good come at bin next turn this is gonna be finished and then we can continue with the rest of the buildings casa doom slowly but surely get into the max this is the west side then we have normal casa doom or moria which yep our general has this one it's all good and we're doing close to ten thousand, and we still haven't finished building casa dome rebuilding casa dome to the max so casa dome makes a lot of money having landries doing good edoras almost full but yeah Honodrith doing good as well. Uh, I am gonna demolish if I'm gonna continue this campaign because at this moment it's over. There's no point to continue. It's literally just wait and move troops. Uh, on the other cities as well, I left this one until I have uh, built some culture conversion buildings or public order because some of the cities were far away from our capital yeah i know we could have moved the capital as well but i'm not gonna move, move the capital from Minas Tirith. 
maybe move it back to Osgiliath as it was in the second age and all that, but no. And from this, you already know everything is to the full. You know, still it, capital doing good, 91. And this works really, really fast. You already know this. Nothing to build. Cool. So that was all the settlements. Now, first, this guy over here, I moved him. I think, I yeah, here. In I didn't want to bother to attack him. Now, what I'm seeing, there's no point to continue this campaign because all the factions that are left, besides me, they're allied with each other, you know, and they have good relations. They, they won't betray each other. I mean, they'll have an opportunity to come, I don't know, attack Erebor here. Not sure where they had, I think they had a lot of troops, maybe, I don't know, around here, or I don't remember if we ever saw where they had a lot of troops. Even from here, okay, they're moving away from here, and most of them are going north, this way, you know, and look, how many troops they are just standing here, and they could have come and taken, even Erebor as troops moving around here. Erebor, <laughs> they're, they were a bit screwed, because they were a bit split. And even if they had the relations, good relations with Dale and all that, I don't know why. I think that upsets a bit the pathfinding, and not all the time he's gonna move troops to other territories that they don't own. So once, yeah, they had the enough settlements here, they become they became a bit stronger. If Bree was still alive. Maybe Erebor would have, wouldn't wouldn't have been that strong, but Bree dying early helped, and they, you know, expanded. Basically, moving their entire kingdom on this part, because these three territories are isolated, and then you have one, two. Yeah. That's this is the only ones that are connected, and then I, I isolated this part as well. But luckily for them, and unlucky for Rohan, they still had enough troops on this side that they, you know, destroyed Rohan. And maybe I don't know, maybe they moved troops really quick through here, like one, two turns, and that's it. Valesman, they had a good game. They had uh, going back and forth with uh, Lothlorien, which I was surprised. But again, they have isolated ter territories. Three settlements here, two here, and one here. Once they lost this one back and forth, then that disrupted Velsman. Lothlorien also had an okay run. But they'll decided to attack them and take them out. Rohan, if we wouldn't have done this trick with Lim here, you know, and then make them attack Erebor, they would have just stayed here, you know. And that's why I did the trick because I was like, okay, I need, you know, factions to do something. What on the realm? Quiet game, in my opinion. Like they just st stood here, and maybe only when the Casa Doom Dwarves pushed, they did a bit more. But other than that, nothing. But yeah, this was it. Now, in terms, maybe I'll do a couple of more videos in this campaign as an epilogue maybe we'll take 13 
the ones for Thorin Halls and maybe this fight here if by any chance he recruits more troops and brings down but by the looks of it they're pretty thin in this part uh, it will oh. be an honor defeating you there's a Rohan troops that got lost during the war I guess really this is it we have the lost kingdom of honor these cities here look a bit thin as well we can literally blitz through here this one we might need to keep it under siege a bit longer not sure what we have here one guy here three guys here so this side we could blitz really quick after we take thorin house but until we take that one, they might recruit or bring more troops if you want. So, on the west side, let's say up until Fruirost, Fruirost, or actually an Ansul, they're kind of, you know, free game. And even Fruirost, we can take fast and maybe they'll manage to reinforce Ansul a bit. There's I'll one guy over here, your neck. and yeah, would have would be nice to have this guy get away and you know block the bridge. On this part, we can take the fort, but I can do that next turn also if I continue this campaign. Other than that, rebuilding and it's just a matter of time because if in those 20 turns they haven't attacked each other you know I mean Erebor could have decided to attack Velsman they're, they're looking like whatever Wooden Realm the, the same could just kick Velsman out and even Dale they can decide like you know what Velsman you know kick the Velsman around <clears throat> so in terms of kingdoms it's me Erebor and Dale that are the major one with Wooden Realm a bit behind us they don't have that many settlements they do have some stacks but not as many as Rohan had you can just count them one two three four five on the field And then let's say seven, eight, maybe a total of ten stacks. If we merge with the, the other small stacks and all that, and Rohan had more than ten stacks for sure, and they had the uh, same amount of settlements as Woodland Realm. Anyway, this is with this bah, words, 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 words. This was it for the Gondor campaign. Again, if there are gonna be more videos on this campaign, it'll probably be a lot of you know skipping of turns and just do battles and nothing else because at this point. It's just move troops around and wait and that's it cool the next campaign I'm still thinking what will the next campaign will be I'm thinking to do an evil faction but I have to think about it which one and probably I'll take a short break from duck and we'll see afterwards. I'll focus on other projects. But yeah, enough rambling. It's another view of the White City. <sighs> Look at that, so beautiful. Really good job, the team behind the dock. Really good job. I tip my hat towards you guys. But anyway. I really hoped you enjoyed this campaign. Yeah, there's a lot of cheesing, but I didn't quite 
take advantage of that cheese, so to speak. You know. Yeah, really hope you enjoyed the, the campaign, guys. And I'll see you, I don't know, in what campaign I will do next. But as always, take care.